Hey everyone, this is Phil, and today I'm here to show you the uh, Rubik's Speed 3x3. Uh, this is a new speed cube by Rubik's, and it's magnetic. So uh, let's take a look at the packaging. It says, uh, do you want to achieve amazing solve times, or do you want to improve your solve speed? Sounds like uh, you want to be good or you want to be good. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, so lots of good vibes from the box. Uh, let's open it and check it out. So this cube is 57 millimeters across, which is standard size for a uh, Rubik's Cube, and uh, it weighs 100 grams, which is a little on the heftier side, but honestly, when you're uh, holding it and moving it, it doesn't actually feel all that heavy. You kind of forget about it. Uh, it is factory magnetic, and the exterior is uh, glossy, which is great for grip. Uh, I personally am a big fan of glossy plastic, and uh, these tiles uh, look great. And uh, the interesting thing about this cube is that it's factory lubed, but with something that's waxy, and uh, it's not wet like silicone, so uh, when you when you turn it, it kind of sounds like it's not lubed very much, but it is. Uh, you can still move it, and it's uh, quite quick. All right, so corner cutting is pretty decent. Uh, forward cutting is pretty good, and reverse, uh, kind of a struggle at strong angles, but it's there, you know, it's good. The M slices are extremely light, and the uh, magnet strength is, uh, I would say it's medium. Uh, I don't think accidental corner twisting is very likely. I can twist it by hand, but I don't think it happens during solves. And I don't think this cube will pop very much either. And uh, even though this cube, as I said before, weighs 100 grams, it doesn't feel like that because it turns so easily. Overall, I think this cube is a big step up from the original Rubik's Cube, which you can find at, you know, your regular toy stores. I think people interacting with this product for the first time coming from the Rubik's Cube will be thoroughly impressed. Uh, after all, this product was made so that it requires very little setup in order to function at a decent level. So think a person without lubing, tensioning experience can pick up this puzzle and immediately recognize that it's better than the uh, original Rubik's Cube out of the box. A lot of effort was uh, put into making this cube as functional and as likable out of the box as possible. If you're really into customizing cubes like me, you can choose to lube your Rubik's Speed with some fancy stuff. I have Mystic and DNM37 in this cube, and as you can tell, the cube sounds more thoroughly looped, and the turn is smoother. So realistically, if you're looking for any magnetic cube, there are of course dozens of uh, options available on the market. But if you're looking for something made by Rubik's, I think this is the go-to cube uh, to get. Uh, it's a very polished product, uh, both inside and out. Uh, it makes a really welcome gift for friends and family. It's a really cool official looking product. And uh, yeah, a lot of attention was put into making its out-of-box performance uh, really good and uh, usable for beginners. So I would say a great beginner-friendly product, a good step up from the Rubik's brand, and personally, I'm getting some pretty good times on the product. I actually enjoy solving on it, which is cool, because uh, usually I kind of shy away from heavier puzzles, but this one kind of makes you forget that it's heavy because it's also quite quick. So I really like that. I hope this video was enjoyable and useful, and catch you in the next one.